so what I think is that um, uh, this market is very price driven and uh, what has been requested this year especially um, that we have seen the DDoS attack on the, the camera so um, uh, you have been aware that um, um, some uh, virus and malware has been uh, infecting a CCTV and camera and the hackers have been able to turn this camera into zombie in order to attack some websites and I think the main thing that we need to change today in this IoT and um, uh, TCP IP industry this is uh, more security uh, for our IoT device, more security for our TCP IP device and this is what is changing this year. In fact when we Suprema look at what is happening on the mass market so uh, the smartphone we see that um, uh, more and more smartphones are implementing the fingerprint readers. Uh, this is true with uh, uh, Android smartphones, this is true with uh, iOS, Apple uh, smartphones, and people like to use it, and uh, people find it very, very convenient, and they adapt very well to it. And we think, uh, thanks to this um, uh, mass market that has been changing the comportment of users, uh, people now uh, uh, they like to use this technology also to come to their office, to open their home, um, uh, to check their bank account. Um, so um, that's why I think uh, my, um, my speech was, um, um, I had a lot of questions and interested uh, questions and discussion with, um, with um, uh, people who came here, the visitors, uh, because they very understand this technology and they understand this is now that um, everything is happening. Yeah, so I think the, um, we, 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 when I first came here um, like two, three years ago, uh, the question was, I was trying to understand what is the specificity of the Russian market. And I think the, the Russian customer, what they want, they want to still pay the same price, but they want to have more services. And um, what I think is very uh, interesting for the system integrator and installer to give uh, to their customer is uh, to increase the security uh, for example, using OSDP uh, protocol, TLS protocol, uh, more RS485, less VGAND, so that it doesn't cost more because the hardware will be the same anyway as that is going to be used, but because the security has been improved, they can give more service and more added value to their customer for exactly the same price. So I would say OSDP, TLS, uh, encryption, uh, all these things, uh, certificates between server and, uh, and device, this is all the thing that uh, matters for the Russian people these days. So yes, that's true, it's not the first time and I will come next year. Um, what I like when I come here is that um, uh, compared to some other trade show where um, you're here to show your products and, um, and, and demo the, the new product you have, here uh, at uh, All Over IP what matters this is talking about the project. Everybody knows each other and I would say that this year is very international. I have, uh, I have seen a lot of uh, customers that I already met uh, uh, this year and came uh, again from Slovakia, uh, from, um, from Eastern Europe, Poland, um, even from Middle East. Um, so I think uh, this year is quite more international than uh, usual. And what is makes the specificity of all of our IP is that you discuss about project, you discuss about integration that you did uh, this year, that you prepare for next year. You talk about deadline, uh, you make some commitment with the people and um, you go really deep into the subject uh, you have with your, your partner and friends uh, that you have in this industry. I think what's different this year is that there is some big player that I, I won't give the name that I didn't see on this expo, uh, especially this year, maybe related to, um, to the economic environment and political environment. Um, what I think is that a difficult moment is always the best time for you to make the difference compared to the, to, to the competition. And um, thanks to um, uh, some big players that didn't come this year, it has opened some slot to some new companies. So I've seen some cloud, uh, cloud storage companies um, that are I think, bringing innovation from the mass market to, the, to this industry that have been very interesting to see.